everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another hair video. I haven't done this in a while, you know what I mean? I wanted to like be in the bathroom with you guys again. My first couple of videos were us chilling in the bathroom talking skincare and beauty and stuff like that and I just just like it, you know? Feels like home. Anyway, so I'm gonna take you guys through actually how I achieve this hairstyle that I have right now. So I would call this sort of like an undone, beachy, easy wave, I guess. I actually kind of created the texture all using a flat iron. So I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this look and it's pretty easy, so let's get started. Hi, I just discovered this new technique. I went to work one day and I told my friends, Ken and Brenton, I was like, you guys, I found this new way to make my hair really pretty and really wavy and really curly. And I just wanna show you and like enlighten you with this technique. And they were like, <laughs> And we already knew that and we knew how to do that. So if you already know this, great. This is my actual natural texture when I wake up in the morning and it's pretty crazy. It's really thick and it's really wavy. So basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to straighten all of my hair first because my hair is so big and I really need to like make it a little bit flatter. So I start by doing that. I am going to use this GHG Platinum Plus Hair Straightener. I do a really quick straighten, not anything super fancy. I don't like piece it apart. I also don't know how to blow dry my hair, so this is what I kind of do to smooth it out. I am actually headed to LA today. I'm getting on a flight in a few hours. And you might be thinking, Emily, why are you doing your hair for a flight? And that's a great question. I have made the rookie mistake of getting onto an airplane looking totally disheveled. And that is always when I run into someone. When I first started traveling, I would literally be in like sweatpants and a sweatshirt and like Ugg boots and be like, yeah, I'm ready to party. Like, let's chill out on this airplane. I'm gonna brush my hair because I need it. So like I was saying, I have made that rookie mistake of not putting effort into my appearance before a flight and I get it, you wanna be comfortable and stuff like that. But just my luck, I end up sitting next to someone that I work with or I'm going to work with or I have worked with or whatever. And especially the New York to LA route, everyone just looks so put together on that freaking flight because they're probably actors and actresses and I don't know who they are because I only watch reality TV. So I will not look like a disheveled mess. Okay, so I'm nearly done straightening. It's just a rough straighten. I'm not being too precious about it. I have my hair straightener, which is what I'm going to be using. And then I also have these little clips that I kind of use to help put my hair away. I don't really do it in any sort of systematic way. I just, a lot of times I actually just like use a scrunchie to piece my hair away because it doesn't um, create like, uh, uh, kinks in your hair and stuff like that. I'm gonna start with the front piece here and I just take a chunk like this and I'm going to use the scrunchie actually and tie the rest of my hair away. So then I'm going to start. So I basically just take the piece of hair and I flip my hair straightener and just basically continue to pull it away from my face a la so. And it makes this kind of amazing, perfect curl. Like look at that curl. Alternating between bigger and smaller pieces so that it looks just sort of, that it's not too, too big of chunks. But basically, yeah, that's what the hair straightener, which I think is actually insane. If you guys knew about this technique, like I never knew that, I didn't know that. Let's continue on. So I hope that I'm explaining this right, that I'm basically, and I don't know how I can do it from like another angle for you, but here I have clamped, my hair clamped like this. I flip the hair straightener, and then I'm basically just pulling it, and I have a decent amount of tension on it, and I'm pulling it away from my face, and I'm just slowly gliding it down my hair, and then that happens which is amazing. So it looks very kinky curly right now, but I'm gonna fix that later. I just leave it for now. So I basically just go through my entire head doing this. I do the same, I'm doing kind of a bigger piece here. 
Also, I didn't prep my hair with anything. I just had, it was just my natural texture as I woke up, but I will probably put a little bit of something in it afterwards to, to undo it a tiny bit. Cutting your hair is hard work. I'm gonna piece chunk like that and take this bit. I think he is sort of keeping tension in the hair, like actually clamping the hair relatively tight and moving your hair slowly through is the key. And you don't wanna stay on one area for too long, obviously. The back of my head, I tend to take bigger pieces just because I care more about the front than I do about the back. Once in a while, I run my fingers through it, but I am going to take time to loosen it up at the end. But also in total, I've only been doing my hair right now for 15 minutes and any girls who have thick hair out there, I remember when I was younger straightening my hair, it would take me like an hour and a half. Whereas I, so I feel like this tool, whether it be really hot or it's just good, it works really well. But in total, I think this usually takes me about 30 minutes. And then I will leave my hair like this with this style for as long as I can. So like I said in another one of my hair videos where I was talking about how I take care of my hair. I will try to preserve this style for three, four, five days, even, you know, even five days if I can. I try not to wash my hair too much and I don't want to apply this much heat onto my hair every day. So I will try to keep this for a few days, not wash my hair, and I'll use dry shampoo to sort of preserve it. Another reason why I kind of don't put that much product into my hair to prep it or anything like that is because sometimes I think product actually weighs my hair down and makes it flatter. So I try to go light on the product when I'm trying to keep some sort of wave or curl. Here's what one side looks like right now. It's definitely like a very wavy texture, kind of a curly, glammy texture. And I'm moving on to the other side and I'm almost done. So I'm actually headed to LA, like I said, but I'm going to Malibu, which I've never really been, I mean, I've been to LA and I've been to Malibu, but I've never really gotten to spend time there. And once again, I won't really be spending time there because I'm gonna be there. And then I'm going to be taking a red eye back tomorrow night, but I'm excited to get out of New York for a second. It's very cold here. And I actually just got over the stomach flu, like, and when I say I just got over it, I mean I got over it like yesterday. <laughs> so, I'm nervous to get on this flight just because I don't want my stomach to act up, but I do feel energy-wise really good. It was really insane though. I got sick on Monday, and today was Thursday. Today's, no, today's Friday. And I didn't leave the house from Monday to Friday. I stayed in my apartment. I wasn't eating anything or drinking anything. It's not like I needed to go out for food because my stomach was a mess. And I couldn't believe it. Today I went and actually I worked out and I was just so alarmed by the outside world. It had been way too long since I had gone outside. I was like, what in the heck? But now I'm back. I'm super happy and grateful that I've come back to life and shooting this tutorial for you. <laughs> Also, while we're talking, I'd love to know more of what kind of content you guys want to see. I've said that a few times and asked you guys before, but it's really helpful to get an understanding for what you guys like watching and seeing from me. So while we're here and we're chatting, can you write that below for me and let me know what you want to see next? I'll just tell you what I was thinking of shooting next for you guys, and you can just let me know in the comment section if it's something that you want to know. So I've gotten a lot of like health and wellness and sort of like lifestyle questions from you guys. And I love health and wellness and I love fitness and you guys have asked for like fitness stuff. And I think that's really cool because I really like that stuff too. Um, so what I was going to do actually is do a little mini fitness sort of wellness series and take you guys through kind of what I do when I'm prepping for a big shoot. And I say that meaning like when I'm prepping for a bikini job, um, Sports Illustrated, Anything where pretty much like any sort of bikini job because I definitely have like a pretty strict regime and 
set of things that I do when I'm getting ready for a big shoot. So I was basically gonna split it up and do, you know, my workouts of the week, what I do leading up to. So like probably three or four workout videos and then also take you through my meal prep. And I think that would be, I'd really like to share that with you guys and I wanna know if you would be interested in it. So right below, do you wanna see meal prep workout plan pre bikini photo shoot like bikini photo shoot preparation i don't know i thought it would be cool i hope that you guys would be interested in it i'm probably gonna film it next week so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed yet do that right now so you don't freaking miss it Almost done. I kind of like to hold it on both sides and really squeeze the hair in between the plates. I feel like the tension helps, like I said. So this is kind of what it looks like after all of that. And these are really nice waves and I really like them. And I think if I probably left them, it would loosen up on its own, but I like to break it up a little bit so it looks a little bit more undone. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through it like this. Just kind of hoping to make it look a little undone. I don't like when my hair looks too perfect, but this does like almost make it look literally perfect to me. And then what I like to do next, so kind of like to go in towards my part here and flatten some of these pieces and smooth them out. And I also like to smooth these front bits as well. So I'll do that really quickly. See? like that side versus that side. And I also kind of go in towards the frame of my face a tiny bit, but I do like when it's flatter. But I'm basically just taking the hair strainer about halfway down, halfway down, not even halfway down, and just flattening out these bits here. And again, going in towards my face and grabbing these bits a little bit so none of those look frizzy or anything like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I basically am going to lightly take the hair straightener through big chunks of my hair just to break these up a tiny bit. I just don't want them to look so bouncy curly just to make them look a little bit cooler. And then I like to kind of tug at the ends a little bit to give a little bit of a straighter end. And I just think that makes it look a little bit cooler. And by cooler, I mean like not so done, which is the, the look that I like. So I'm just taking kind of big chunks and I'm not clamping the hair straightener too hard or anything like that. It's a very light clamp and just going through. Okay, and that's kind of what it looks like. And I think it looks really, really nice and done, but not too done. Like I said, I think those last few steps are really important to just kind of like tug at the ends and run the hair straightener through. And then the only product that I'm actually going to use is this sparkling soda from Dry Bar. And I like this, it's actually a shine mist, but to me, I think it helps to <clears throat> break up the pieces a little bit. And it kind of leaves shine, but I feel like it just breaks up and makes it look makes my hair just look a tiny bit piecier and almost like <clears throat> when I put it in towards the ends, it almost, I'm literally, <coughs> um, I feel like it almost helps it look a day or two older than it is. And that's it. This is the final look, you guys. What do you think? I feel like it looks nice. This is what I've been doing to my hair. And I filmed a couple of videos with my hair like this. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Thanks for being here and I will see you guys in my next video.